And we welcome you back into Hot Reads, our weekly look at the NFL with Hall of Fame quarterback Troy Aikman. I'm Tom Vandervoort. Today we're looking at Sunday's playoff games, starting with the Atlanta Falcons traveling to New York to meet the New York Giants. The Giants have kind of been in the playoffs the last couple weeks, having to win their way in. Is that any kind of advantage for a team being in that playoff mode before we actually get to the playoffs, or is that kind of overrated? Uh, well, it's, uh, I, I think that what is important is that you want to be playing pretty good football going in. And that, that's not to imply, I mean, we saw the Saints when they won the Super Bowl, they were not playing very good football at the end of the season, yet they were able to turn it on once they got into postseason. But obviously, as a general rule, you'd like to be playing good football as you enter into the playoffs and then playing with confidence. And we saw that last year with the Green Bay Packers having to win the last two to get in. They're the number six seed. They go on, obviously, and, and win the Super Bowl. Uh, the, the New York Giants, I, I don't put them in the same category as last year's Green Bay team the way that they were playing, but yet I think it's positive for them that they had to win the last two games in order to get in and start feeling good about themselves. They had lost four in a row, uh, and then they had a big win against Dallas to put themselves back in position, but then they had a demoralizing loss at home against the Redskins. So I think the fact that they, they've had to win the last two games helps them uh, right now, they're playing with great confidence. They had a big win, obviously, against Dallas on Sunday night football. This is, this is a team that right now I, I, I like. I think they're probably playing the best football uh, of the season right now, which is, which is a real positive. And defensively, they're playing better. And then, of course, Eli Manning, who's been pretty solid throughout the entire season. Uh, I like the New York Giants against the Falcons at home. Uh, I like Atlanta. Uh, but I just think having to go on the road against this New York Giants team that's playing pretty good uh, is, is good for them. I, I know that Atlanta, who had a tough loss to New Orleans, did not play particularly well two weeks ago, came back, got some confidence against a really bad Tampa team, uh, not to be confused with the team they're going to face with the New York Giants. Yeah, it's hard to get a read, I think, on the Falcons just based on who they beat coming down the stretch. They didn't really uh, have a great team that they played, except, as you say, for the Saints. Talk to me a little bit about their offense, because when you look at it on paper, they've got a lot of weapons. Matt Ryan at quarterback, Michael Turner at running back, and then obviously you got Roddy White, Julio Jones, and then future Hall of Famer Tony Gonzalez. How close is that offense to being one of the better offenses in the league? Well, I, I like the offense. I've always liked Matt Ryan. I think he's an exceptional player, and, and you know, you say, well, well, he's not going to put up the kind of numbers that, you know, that uh, a Drew Brees does or an Aaron Rodgers or, you know, a Tom Brady and, and, you know, but yet he threw for over 4,000 yards. And it's a team that unlike most teams right now in the league, they're, they're a little bit old school. You know, they want to, they want to build their offense around the running game and then use the play action. And, and they do it very well. Of course, they, they run the ball well, as you said, they've got They've got weapons on the outside to get the ball to. I, I think going into this game, there's a lot of pressure on this, this Falcons team uh, because under Mike Smith and then with Matt Ryan as the quarterback, you know, they're 0-2 in the playoffs. And last year, they were the number one seed, lost in the divisional round to the Green Bay Packers. And so uh, there is pressure to perform. And as good as they have been in the regular season, they have now reached a point to where fans don't really care what the regular season presents. They want to win in the postseason. So it will be important for Atlanta to get off to a pretty good start because I always think that there's one team that's able to play a little looser than the, than the other team. And to me, it's the Giants that, that will be afforded that, uh, even though obviously uh, there's always plenty of pressure playing in New York uh, for whether it's the Giants or the Jets. But I think the Falcons are a little bit under the gun early in this game. All right, very interesting. All right, last game of the weekend, we got Pittsburgh traveling to Denver. Tim Tebow. Uh, the Denver offense did not look very good down the stretch. They make it into the playoffs anyway. They're, they're going up against the number one uh, defense in the NFL. I know Pittsburgh's without Ryan Clark this weekend, but how the hell, hell is uh, Denver going to score any points here, Troy? It seems like a tall order right now. Well, it, hey, it would be hard, to, no matter who you are, to try to score points against this Pittsburgh team. Uh, they're, they're doing things that, that we're accustomed to seeing them do. And, you know, the one thing that Denver has going for them is they're, they're playing at home, but yet they're three and five. They're, uh, you know, I call it Mile High Stadium. I know they got a different name in Besco Field, I guess. But, you know, so they haven't played great at home. Uh, clearly, Denver is about being able to run the ball, uh, keep the game close going into the fourth quarter. I just, I just don't think that's going to happen. I have a great deal of respect uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Dick LeBeau and what they're capable of doing. And, 
and they've been awfully good in pass defense. They're, they're, they're good as well in run defense. Number one, number one defense overall. I, I just don't see, I just don't see Denver doing anything against them offensively. And, and, and I, I don't think uh, their defense, Denver's defense is going to be able to keep the score close enough into the fourth quarter to give Tebow a chance on a one possession game. I don't think that'll happen. I, I like Pittsburgh in this game. Yeah, it's hard to see uh, hard to see Denver winning. It feels like maybe 10 points might even be enough for Pittsburgh in this situation. It could be, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's great. You know, we're, we're at the end of the season here. No more Aikman fantasy football, but we did have a couple winners to announce, and I wanted to do that here. Congratulations to Joe Hernandez, who won Week 17. And our grand prize winner was Lee Rowell, who also won Week 7. So they're going to get a signed ball from you, Troy. And I just wanted to throw, throw out our congratulations to them this week. Yes, I would uh, congratulate them uh, on, a, on a great year and, and really just thank everybody for taking part uh, in, in the Quarterback Fantasy League. And I also need to congratulate my sister. I had a, I had a side league with some family and friends and uh, my, my sister won, won that. So uh, Tammy Powell, congratulations to you as well. Excellent news. All right, man, we'll see uh, what happens this week in the playoffs, and we'll uh, be back with you next week to talk about it. Thanks. Sounds great. Thanks, Tom.